Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another mixed media tutorial with me Lisa Taggart. This one I'm calling You Do You. It's an underwater scene and it's summertime almost so why not. So if you're interested in that let's take a look at the materials first of all. To begin we've got the watercolour card, the hot press version. We're also using uh, Dinkles again this week and pretty much the same colours as previous week, Periwinkle and Sea Blue. Lime Divine and Yellow and finally we have Magenta and Blue Dragon which I forgot to leave out. So moving on then where we've got Versafine Claire in Medieval Blue, Very Perry, Warm Breeze, Nocturne and finally Golden Meadow but use what you have, a dark and a light would suffice. Distress Oxide in Twisted Citron and Salvage Patina. Also Blueprint Sketch and Shaded Lilac. And finally Wilted Violet, one of my favourites. I'm also using a couple of Pan Pastels in Pearlescent Violet and Magenta. These again are optional and along with that I'm using my Fiber Castell Potty Eraser really just to uh, move the pastel around on the card. I've also pulled out the Pit Pastel uh, Fiber Castell um, pencils in a variety of colours just uh, to do some enhancements here and there on the picture once the um, main colours are down. So it's oranges, yellows, green, purple, uh, just whatever you fancy. I've got the medium size uh, stencil brush, uh, size 7 from Lavinia Stamps and I'm using that along with a stencil. Also got uh, yellow and white gel pens along with a brand new Stabilo All black pencil and the stub has been left behind. Now for some sparkle pens and I'm delighted to say that uh, I now have these uh, Posca sparkle pens which were very kindly sent to me as a gift from Kim, one of my lovely subscribers. Thank you so much Kim for the gift and also your all your support. We're also using uh, some stickles in Waterfall. I've got the fixative spray for from Windsor and Newton just for the in-between stages between the dinkles and the sprays. Also some water to move the uh, Distress Oxide sprays and now moving on to the stamps and the stencil. Starting off with the stencil, it's called Laurel and this is a very beautiful one. We're also using uh, Vine Corner which was one of the new release stamps. We've got Seahorse which is absolutely gorgeous. We've got Willow for some foliage, also Seaweed 2 set, Flo, Arlo, the Shoal of Fish and the Fish set stamp. And that's a lovely selection, I'm sure you'll agree for this week. So if you want to convert all of those into something that looks a little bit like this, just keep on watching.
now this is dry as you can see it's created a really nice bright vibrant background and I've spread it with the fixative just because uh, the next st stage is the oxide sprays and I don't want them to blend too much and that's a wee trick if you want to uh, separate your layers. Now this is a, a very bright coloured background and it's one of those cases where I did this background and thought I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I thought about it for a while, kept it in my pile for a couple of weeks and then decided that I would like to make it a little bit paler and do an underwater scene by using my oxide sprays. And this is to show really that um, even if you're a bit perplexed by your background, it's maybe a bit dark and you don't know what, where the stamping will go, it can always be adjusted and particularly with distress oxide which uh, uh, brighten it and um, give it that that sort of lighter feel and adds an, an extra interesting layer as you can see I'm allowing it to drip and uh, blend into each other and it's not interfering too much with the layers below because I use the uh, fixative uh, and that means that it's not a big hot brown mess at this stage so it just goes to show that anything can be uh, built up and changed and there we are just adding final spray because it's underwater i want it to be a bit murky and a bit uh, like it has bubbles and that sort of thing so it completely changed the background just pointing out that I've darkened uh, the foliage at the top there using warm breeze and over stamping the same stamp again just to give it a bit more definition and now at this point uh, you can see I've started to add um, some enhancement uh, on top of the layers already completed and I'm taking my pastel pencils and pan pastels but use whatever you have and I'm really working with the uh, colours that are already in the card and I just decided I would like to bring them out more and add a, a little more balance to the picture I suppose so uh, where the pan pastel is concerned where it's a bit strong I use this putty eraser just to remove some of it and blend it into the card it's a handy wee piece of putty basically that that does that and it removes anything that you don't want now at this stage also I decided to add some pastel to the uh, seahorse and try to color it in that way it wasn't terribly successful and as you'll see later on I use the uh, gel pens and the sparkle pens to add the final color and uh, all the while trying to bring back the line work uh, as I go uh, this uh, pearlescent color the idea behind that was to add some mistiness to the background Again, when you put it down with your finger, it can be a little bit strong in case uh, in places. So again, I've taken my putty eraser and removed some of that. I also put it on the seahorse uh, just to see how it looked. And I think I ended up 
uh, removing uh, most of it because it uh, again removed uh, too much of the line work but it's all part of the creative process and seeing what works and what doesn't and it can always be fixed later on with an additional layer of something else. I've also stamped a couple of the smaller fishes here and there just to add extra balance and I've taken my Stabilo All Black Pencil and uh, darkened up the stamping a little bit uh, particularly at the bottom of the fishes and also bringing back some of the line work again on the seahorse before I begin with the uh, beautiful uh, Sparkle Posca pens which I'm really enjoying and loving this week uh, and this I think for is a perfect project to start playing with them so it's really at this stage for me adding lots of little dots of colour to the seahorse just, just to make um, him stand out and look beautiful. This project is all about the seahorse and being um, unique and individual and standing out amongst the crowd of fish. Uh, you do you being the uh, title of the picture. So he's going to have lots of majestic sparkle and colour just to make him ping.
friends, that's the project complete for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Just let you see it close up. Um, some things to note that in relation to the seahorse, I did uh, take my uh, dark pencil again and, I, and added back some of the, the detail from the stamp, some of the line work, just to bring out the shape of it a, a little bit better. Also defined the, the small uh, shoal of fish uh, with a fine black, black marker just down at the bottom uh, so they stand out a little bit more and uh, generally just uh, brought out the shape of things. I also took my white gel pen and added uh, some around the seahorse so he stood out more and uh, that complemented the uh, little white dots in the picture as well. It's mounted up onto black and like an olive, uh, pale olive green card. So uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Press the notification bell, like, uh, share and leave me a comment. This is all so uh, important to me. Also, the shop links are below where I sell my artwork, this being for sale as well. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves. And of course, above all, get creating, be brave and enjoy the adventure.